I will tell you three things. If I tell them to you and they come true, then will you believe me? tortured ears, there sounds unceasingly a nightmare whirring and flapping, and a faint distant baying as of some gigantic hound. It is not dream. It is not, I fear, even madness, for too much has already happened to give me these merciful doubts. St. John is a mangled corpse. I alone know why, and such is my knowledge that I am about to blow out my brains for fear I shall be mangled in the same way. Down unlit and illimitable corridors of eldritch fantasy sweeps the black, shapeless nemesis that drives me to self-annihilation. May heaven forgive the folly and morbidity which led us both to so monstrous a fate. Wearied with the commonplaces of a prosaic world, where even the joys of romance and adventure soon grow stale, St. John and I had followed enthusiastically every aesthetic and intellectual movement which promised respite from our devastating ennui. The enigmas of the symbolists and the ecstasies of the pre-Raphaelites all were ours in their time. But each new mood was drained too soon of its diverting novelty and appeal. Only the somber philosophy of the decadence could hold us. And this we found potent only by increasing gradually the depth and diabolism of our penetrations. Baudelaire and Huysmans were soon exhausted of thrills, till finally there remained for us only the more direct stimuli of unnatural personal experiences and adventures. It was this frightful emotional need which led us eventually to that detestable course which even in my present fear I mention with shame and timidity. That hideous extremity of human outrage, the abhorred practice of grave robbing. window, a series of footprints, utterly impossible to describe. They were as baffling as the hordes of great bats which haunted the old manor house in unprecedented and increasing numbers. The horror reached a culmination on November 18th, when St. John, walking home after dark from the distant railway station, was seized by some frightful carnivorous thing and torn to ribbons. His screams had reached the house. And I had hastened to the terrible scene in time to hear a whir of wings and see a vague, black, cloudy thing silhouetted against the rising moon. My friend was dying when I spoke to him, and he could not answer coherently. All he could do was to whisper, the amulet, that damn thing. Then he collapsed, an inert mass of mangled flesh.
And yes, we're we're hella live right now. I gotta figure out how how did I watch it again? I don't remember what I clicked last time. The computer's being all weird too. Um, do you usually watch on the computer or your phone? I usually watch on the computer. Um but I could open up my phone. Is that what you do? Well, yeah, but that's because I'm running all this stuff on mine. What in the yeah. world? It's just strange. Like, I'm using, like, a laptop where I normally would have it be, like, you know, split screen. Like, one thing over there and one thing up on the monitor. But um, the laptop screen is just black instead. Like, I don't know what, I'm like, what setting got changed? Like, I don't know uh. why it's like that. But hey, Lilia, what's up? Who is that? I think that's Emily. Oh, Emily! Hi! <laughs> I can't see anything yet. So yeah, I... yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be your eyes. <laughs> Thank you. I was going to say, I finally slept. I was talking to her about my insomnia. Mm. Uh, which I don't know if you have experience with that, but holy shit. I was like, I'm going to come on really. here and my eyes are going to be just like two black pits in my head. Oh, no. But then I Wait, slept. Wait, so how much? Okay, so you did sleep. I did. I've gotten two nights sleep since I, I had insomnia. So I'm... Oh, good. Kind of about in a thousand. Yeah, right. You're doing great. You're thriving. Wait, what is it like when you um, have insomnia? What... What's that like for you? How little sleep are you getting? What are you thinking about when you're staying up or you just can't go to sleep? Right. For me, I'll say uh, the first night, it was like one of those nights where you're like, oh, fuck, I can't sleep. And then you just start worrying because you're like, oh, damn it. Like, I have to go to work tomorrow. And just kind of like this classic feeling of like, I slept in today. You know, just like I have bad sleep routine, whatever. But mm -hmm. then usually when that happens... Uh, I'm really sleepy the next day. I can go to sleep, no problem. But instead, oh. I was like, oh shit, I'm actually still wide the fuck awake and my heart is pounding with anxiety about it. And so oh. it was like a night long panic attack. And, and then like, I was like, oh, that was fucking God. weird. And then it happened again, like, <laughs> like four times in a row. Like I, I was up like Wednesday to like, I want to say Monday night. So Tuesday, oh I kind of got in trouble because I like I told my boss I was like I have to work from home. I feel insane, uh, and uh, it was not well received. Really? Yeah. Even though I was telling I was telling them everything. Like I even talked to the HR person. I was like, Hey, I've never been through this before. Like I truly don't even know how to deal with this. Like at my job. Like here's what's going on. And the HR person yeah. understood, but the HR person is not my boss, so. Mm -hmm. What Which, did your boss say? Uh, it was very, like, if you work from home to today, you're going to have to come in, like, tomorrow. Like, very, like, I don't give a shit that you're going through this, and also, like, you can only work from home once a week, so you better... It was basically, like, you better make sure that you get rest so you can come in and work like after that and it was like jesus christ like yeah. maybe there's a reason i have insomnia yeah for sure oh that's awful i hate when they can't like see you as a human they get so caught up in this like what you're supposed to be like for work and it's like no this is your whole fucking life it should just you should yeah. get human treatment yeah that's at least yeah. how I feel, but maybe that's uh, that's radical thinking. Yeah, that's real millennial shit. <laughs> Leaning towards Gen Z, so we need to be careful. Bring it back. Oh, yeah. Bring it in. I'm not about to make a freaking TikTok about it, that's for sure. <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. Uh, but, so then I have, I have questions. Yeah, capitalism rocks. I have questions, which is <laughs> Valerie... What's your sleep story? And Emily, what's up? Have you played anything scary lately or watched anything scary? And that applies to you too, Valerie, as well. So two questions for you. 
Okay, well, for me, I unfortunately sleep very well, and it's very easy for me to sleep that's, all the time. That sucks ass for me to hear. <laughs> yeah, pretty upsetting, I would that's think. That's pissing me the hell off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot I got to stream the game to you. Okay, is that how I normally comes. see it? I haven't started okay, playing great. yet. Okay, I just opened up the... Uh, actual twitch site so that helps but i look at it there yeah and i have not played any games either uh movies i started watching martyrs do you know what that is a show no it's a french i guess it's the french torture porn is oh how wait I've seen that on Letterboxd. I've never watched it before, but... Okay, yeah. Well, I listened to... Uh, do you, I forget. Have we ever talked about Too Scary Didn't Watch? Uh, my brother listens to that show. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, I love it. It's, <laughs> it's great. So I listened to the Too Scary Didn't Watch of it, and it sounded so good. Like, really? the host was saying, yeah... She was like, I was crying multiple times because it was just so intense. It was oh so heartbreaking. God. And the way she, yeah, the way she described it, I was like, oh my God, that does sound intense. Um, but then watching it, it was just like not well acted. It just like didn't mm. do anything for me. So I watched like a half hour maybe. And then I was like, I'm done. I'm good. Damn. Yeah, it has a 3.7. Yeah. Is it's that so good? weird. It's weird how that happens. Yeah, that's like good. Uh, oh. But sometimes it's like one of those movies where, like, I, when I look at it, like, most of the people I follow gave it like three or four stars, but then there's a couple mm -hmm. like, actually, our friend Cliff gave it two and a half. So you you both uh, share okay. the feeling. Yes. Okay. Good. Somebody, somebody relates. Yeah, I feel. I guess. I don't know. Like, really, the description of it is so cool, and maybe if you didn't have any idea what was going on it would be more enjoyable but yeah. i i don't know i just felt like it was so poorly done um for me um it's like daytime but, in the game now i know that's weird it's didn't weird. know that it could do that uh, uh emily oh and i can't see the chat what the fucking really? shit Wait, are you it's looking so on twitch no i will open that i'm looking at the other one why is it so different from last time? I don't know what I did wrong. Okay. Let's see, can I make this bigger? She said uh, she watched Deep House, The Deep House, and it was okay. Just kind of spooky, but sort of meh. Mm -hmm. Which I haven't heard of that one. Finished a book called The Dead Lake, and it was spooky. But then it ended abruptly. I need to read more scary books. I just finished a book that Greggy recommended. And uh, it's like, I read a really scary book and I was like, damn, this rocks. And then I tried to read a book that is like a nonfiction book about plants. And I was like, this sucks. Even though I love plants, I was like, <laughs> where's the, where's the like bloated corpses and like <laughs> nightmare torture? Oh, hey, Truno. Talking about the martyrs, uh, the film. I think it's a French film. Yeah, I feel like all information should be given to you along with, like, entertainment. Like, do create a story or something, <laughs> yeah. please. I mean, you it know? is, like, it's technically a story. It's just that it's so, like, normal and being, like, mm. we should care about plants and, like, here's why and here's my, like, childhood. And it's, like, technically, like, a good book. But mm. I'm, like, I think I'm my brain is too broken to be able to enjoy something that, even though I, like, agree with all this stuff where it's, like, we should you know, we should share, we should, like, be kind to the environment. I'm like, yes, 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 but I just, like, can't get into it, because it's... I don't know. It needs to be a little no. freaky. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, oh, wait, why were you warned not to watch it, or advised not to watch the movie? Was it because it was disturbing? And then, okay, yeah, nonfiction isn't as fun. After reading so much horror kind of what I'm running into. Yeah, I just read actually. This is probably so silly and I I have no idea. Do you do you ever get this thing where like you know that somebody talked about something or something was recommended to you and you have no idea 
where. And maybe, oh, maybe yeah. it was you. Maybe it was Emily. You guys can tell me. I doubt it. But all of a sudden, Libby was like, hey, we've got a book ready for you. We've got Verity by Colleen Hoover ready for you to borrow. And I was like, I don't know what this is. I don't know why I added it. Like, no, no. idea. Wait, who's it? has the author written anything else that is, like, recognizable? Um, she... I don't know the names of her other books, but she is very popular. I found out at the end of this book, she says, like, thanks for taking a chance on this, like, thriller book I've written when normally I just write straight romances. Really? Bro, there's a cow so, walking around. Okay, you hate her. Okay, uh-oh, Emily. Oh, no. See, I think it might be my cousin Rachel, because she's previously... It, either Rachel or Courtney said they love... Um, romance novels so that oh. might be how i heard of her i don't know but it's not it is a romance there's like multiple sex scenes but, but it's also like really creepy and has like just a very very ugh, vibe to it um mm. and very very readable um i can't read this fucking chat oh i know what i'll do what the yeah hell? okay you okay, it? i did it yeah Okay, I do remember sometimes I know a little bit about technology. I'm I can't actually, like, it. okay, so I'm trying to look at the shrine and shit, but it actually won't let me, like, stand directly there. Like, I want to see what the see, statue is doing, but I can't. And maybe it is just because it's irrelevant. Right, it's just annoying. For it's our like, purposes, look at it. it's but creepy. it's like, yeah, it's like if the you're only putting thing it in here, here, that's the whole point and click game problem, right? Yeah. Oh, Verity is good the first part and then just goes from suspense to relying too much on sex. Yes. There is a lot of sex. Where it's like the build up to the like, are they going to kiss? Mm -hmm, was like very great. Um, but I don't know. I thought I thought it was pretty good overall. I mean, the ending ended up being like kind of dumb, but uh, like where they, you, <laughs> you know, when you see a thing that's like, there's a twist. And then wait, there's another twist? And hold on, a third twist? And uh, you're like, okay, look. <laughs> yeah. The first twist was good, and then now you're going nuts. <laughs> what is this? Right. <laughs> it's um, yeah. Okay, and then Truno said, yeah, I don't need to see someone skinned alive by a clandestine organization. Yeah, well, that was the thing for me. When I heard skinned alive, I was like, okay, I definitely wouldn't like that part, but that's like the very end it doesn't seem that disturbing to me otherwise um but maybe i'm just a sick little bitch <laughs> we don't know <laughs> you're a dog you're yeah. damn dog yeah a little dirty dog uh um yeah go ahead try you trying to remember what what the fuck we were yeah, doing yeah i know we went to the doctor's house i was gonna go back there right and i was reading the walkthrough because okay Oh my was, god, you're so that. fucking like handy with a little walker. You're already there. I have to. I have to do it. Okay, whispering Millie, walk through. Okay. Um, do you know anything about like color analysis in terms of like, you know, your skin tone and stuff? No. I'm aware of the practice. And I saw your thing that you posted on Instagram, which was interesting to me. I thought about doing it myself, but I don't really, I don't know what I would do with the information because I'm not really a makeup person, but maybe outfits. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I think the clothes are a big thing for people, but um, it just does force you to do a lot of shopping. Right. And the unfortunate thing, I started going like, is this like astrology or something where it's like, <laughs> maybe there's some validity to it, maybe there's not. Um, because I, then I'm very bad with money, just need to know this, but so I, um, paid for the one color analysis thing that was like $200 or whatever. And then I paid for a second one. Oh, really? Because I was like, I just needed a second opinion and I wanted more input on what I should do to my hair. So I went to a second ah, person wow. and I paid like 300 something dollars for that one. Um, do you talk to someone they, or they just send you stuff? They just send you stuff. And they send it, like, suspiciously quick. Both of them are so quick that I go, you oh. know, <laughs> I think you might need to put a little more time into this. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's pretty <laughs> sus. 
let's take a minute. But clearly they just like look at your colors and decide what you are and then send you like the packet for that color, which whatever, but, um, but yeah, take a little more time because one of them said I was a true summer. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the other one said I was a true winter. Wow. Now these are fucking different. Okay. So <laughs> you I might say they're opposites. <laughs> Right. So I wrote to that person that gave me the second piece and I said, uh, I was previously told it was a true summer. What do you think about that? She said, I honestly don't see true summer at all. I don't see summer at all. And I was like, who am I suing? Because right. this is... Right. So um, I considered asking a third person, but then I saw she charges five hundred dollars, and I was like, "Yeah, I really this is no fucking I have way." A like, okay, yeah. have you looked at other people who are true summers and compared and been like, "Well, yeah, I, I it's like. so it's so fucking hard to tell," but because you don't necessarily look like them, it's yeah. it's so well, it's fucking like hard that, to tell. It's almost like it's subjective a little bit. <laughs> That's right. To a degree it is because you will see them sometimes say what celebrities are and different people yeah. sometimes say different seasons. But um, I did use an app, the free app that has you put in your eye color. It, like you use a picture of yourself and you take uh -huh. the colors from the picture, um, your eye color, your skin color and your hair color. And then it tells you what season you are. And I always got winter from that. Oh, okay. So I do think that's accurate because I did it for Sean too, and he got summer. And then when he got his analysis from the lady who I think is better, um, she gave him summer. So I'm like, okay, I should have just used the free app. Is the lesson okay? Based so maybe on I'll what, just tell you what the app is. <laughs> based on what Emily's saying, like I feel like I should get into the consulting game. Yes. And, like, become one of these people because oh my god, I didn't know. Whoa. This was such a business. Right. See, this, and I tried to do a, um, there was a girl who was like a life coach, and she was like, I'll basically just tell you, yes, girl, you're a girl boss, do it. Like, honestly, that's what it sounds like. If oh you're God. wanting to make a transition, she will just encourage you. Um, so I wrote to her and I said, hey, like, what? what's the cost of that? That sounds interesting. And she was like, well, right now I'm doing a discount. So it's $444 for an hour talk or whatever. And I was like, oh. that's insane. Absolutely fucking not. Yeah. And Ooh, it's just gross. It <gasps> Nothing odd about it. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> Nothing odd about it at all. But you're going to keep it. Are you seeing this? No. What? Oh. I was still thinking about that fucking onion. Wow. Okay. Do we know this person? I think this was the landlord who was saying, I need to get that rent, and then we didn't get it. Ooh, the shed. The shed. The shed. Oh, my God. I hope there's not dirty diapers in there. Call back to when I told you about oh, the yeah. business. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I forgot about that. Um, Emily, that's a great deal. <laughs> Yes, I'll take it. <laughs> See, this is why I'm like, I'm trying, did you know I'm trying to start a tarot website where I do tarot readings? No. I am. I even, cons uh, what's the word, commissioned art for it, and I'm like building a website to like do online tarot readings, because I'm like, people need, people are just looking for like some kind of affirmation or like personal yes. attention even, and I'll give it for dollars. Mm -hmm. I know. I want to figure out what my scam is because I have some friends who know about different things and I really want to encourage them to start a grift. You know what I mean? Why are we not yeah, doing I mean, that? it's like the era of the side hustle. Like, you kind of need to have something. Absolutely. And I feel like it's pretty legitimate. Like, I love paying a bunch of money for something that I probably shouldn't. It's honestly, like, one of the joys of my life. And I think... I think there's a lot of legitimacy to it. Like I, 
I have a friend who's a hairdresser, and I am going to suggest to her that she just tells people what they should do with their hair. Just tell people oh, what, wow. like, cut and color would look good on them and make them pay you for it. I feel like that's honestly great. I feel yeah. like a lot of people would want that, you know? That's what I always do when I go to the hairdresser. I say, I don't know. I'm like, I kind of want this, but, like, they'll start saying, oh, what do you want, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, why don't, this is your whole thing. Like, you probably know better than I do. Just make it the same. Totally. <laughs> Because whatever I say isn't even going to make sense. I don't even know what the words mean. Yes. That's, I'm the same. I always just go, like, would this look good on me, though? Like, I trust your judgment. And they never want to, they don't want that power. And I don't get it. It's like, I totally want that power. Yeah, you already have the power of, like, actually having to do it. So, I mean, you could tell me something that's easy for you to do. Totally. And then just do it. And then it'll look good because it's your thing, you know? Yes. Throwing it back on yeah. him. Your turn. I know, you just have to find out what it is. And you're rejecting me. I just have to read this so we can get it out of the way. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to go to the fucking walkthrough finally. I think we're making progress, though. We might not need it for a second. Because we're okay. going to see what's in the shed. Okay. You know what? I am going to pay attention briefly um, and also mute myself so I can eat some fucking noodles, okay? Oh, so I'm gonna pay attention, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, <laughs> not responding to that. Oof. Unfortunately, wait, why is it unfortunate? Because... Um, because I, just because it's not my usual thing. I'm okay. not usually okay, okay, yeah, it's against your nature. Okay, I see. Yes. That, I'm not mad about yeah. that, I'm the same way. <laughs> um, Emily, yeah, I agree. Doesn't matter how bad the haircut is, I would never. I'd be like, oh my god, I love it. Um, I just saw someone on TikTok too who got. Uh, was it her hair? Or was it a tattoo? Because there definitely was a tattoo. Uh, that was very bad. But the, yeah, she said the same thing. It's like, said she loved it, and then went and crying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Cope however you can. Okay, let me mute myself. Eat some fucking noodles. Taz, do we need you here? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Look no, maybe not big so old high. Belly. Look at that little jelly I, bean. Oh my god. When when she runs, her stomach goes like this. And it's <laughs> oh so funny. It's so cute. Taz, can you lay down? Uh, we did think our neighbor cat died, by the way, because oh, we shit. had this like very, 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 very annoying neighbor cat who would come over multiple times a day and just scream at our door, front door, back door. If we went outside, the cat was like, give me food immediately. Um, just very annoying. And, uh, well, we hadn't seen her for like five days or more. And we were like, okay, she definitely died. Um, but then Sean said he saw her this morning. Really? Oh, nice. So wait, is it a cat that kind of belongs to someone yeah. or it's just like a neighborhood cat? now belongs to somebody really Mm-hmm. lay down taz please i'm begging you leave me alone <laughs> begging you to just make your own spot and leave me out of it <laughs> leave me out of it no no more Oh my god, wait, there's some drama in this shit. Okay. Well, re- yeah, let's hear it. So, I think this is a guy that spread rumors about the lady's daughter, remember? And, um, he was saying, like, I don't know, she was gonna r- try and run away with a guy, but I think maybe she, he was saying, like, she's, like, promiscuous or something. So he's saying, uh, he's kind of being a bitch about it. He said, yeah, I spread some rumors, uh, they're freaking true but it wasn't classy that i did that and then he says in return i would have liked to receive your apologies if you hadn't rejected me we would have avoided this tragedy whether you liked it or not you were mine your stubbornness has cost us all dearly i can't remember if this is the one that the the mother was like yeah this guy was really weird to my daughter and then he like when she grew up he was trying to get with her and maybe he got her pregnant? 
And then he, oh, no. okay, so he calls her a whore. A whore like you didn't de deserve to bear my name. Maybe it was better that way. What a bitch. Yeah, that letter was kind of all over the place, you know? At moments it was civil, and then at moments it was like, yeah, wow, you don't hold back. Typical. So we got a map. We got to find where the f hell this is for some trees and some blobs. I love a map like that. Ugh, he scared me, even though I know he's there. What else? what else? Yeah, I don't know how long it would take you to get over there being a hanged person in the room. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Typical man. Oh, yeah. That was a note that said you're not going to get your motherfucking rent money. Mm. I guess that's it. I will leave you there, sir. Even though I'm a yeah. priest. Yeah. Should I turn my AC off? Is it too loud? Mm hmm. Okay. It's on because the air in Philly is like smoke, basically. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't hear anything. Okay, cool. Uh. Alright, let's look at the shed first. I'm excited about that. Yeah. Wait, what kind of noodles were those? Um, they're. Mo Momofuku uh, something or other. They're yummy. Okay. From a, <laughs> you made them or you ordered them? Made. They're like, yeah, okay. Sean made a little package. And I have fruit too. <laughs> wow. I'll try not to be too loud. Are you a misophonia person? No, I don't care about that. Oh my god, amazing. I don't either. I'm like, I guess it's real, but sometimes I th I'm just like, are you just... <laughs> are you just <laughs> making it up? <laughs> That's 100%. Like, so you, bad. are you sure you're not just some booty bitch? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a disorder. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. So I guess the only thing we got is a shovel. Okay, so that's fine. Whatever. I remember uh, Angela Trimber she had a post about her misophonia and how she was like suicidal because of it and I was like I, no can't, I, can't, find, I can't find sympathy for this what? I can't. how often is Just that even it. a problem <laughs> <laughs> no she's like I feel like a freak it's like okay is that I your can't. is that the only like that's the thing <laughs> I'm like no you gotta learn to manage your emotions I just better. like went a week without, like, sleeping. <laughs> right. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we need to find... There was a place kind of by the doctor that looked like... Uh, where was it? I guess I could see misophonia being real because I have that thing, I forget what it's called, but when you see, like, um, certain patterns, it's, like, disgusting to you. Oh, yeah, like holes or something? <laughs> yeah. But is it, like, um, yeah, I guess so what? It's, like, there are people who that's just, like, so intense that they can't, that it, like, gives them a anxiety or something? Yeah, where I think, like, if it, I guess if you had that with, like, different sounds, it could be, like, uh, this, like, really, I don't know, I guess I don't know if it's the same feeling, but for me, when I look at something that has that, like, I just can't look at it, it's so disgusting, um, like, I have a lamp in the bedroom that I recently noticed has, like, a little, a little strip that just has a weird little shape, and it's, like, really? It's disgusting. I hate when I catch it. I'm like, ugh. Wow. So you don't have that? Have you ever experienced that at all? No. Okay. I like I horror learned... stuff that's even, like, uh, like, plays on that and has a lot of, oh, like, really? gross, like, yeah. It, I don't mind it. Okay. I have to send you a photo that was, like, the yeah. first thing that I ever saw that made me realize I had that. And that, I just thought everybody had it. I didn't know that it was, like, a specific thing. 
I just thought everybody would think it was gross, but um, I was like 16 or something the first oh, really? time I ever noticed it. Yeah, I want to look. I want to test myself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the ones that really fucking do it, we probably talked about this before, but I've ever seen those pictures that are like a photoshopped like nipple that looks like a lotus whatever. I don't think we've talked about it because I don't know what that is. <laughs> Okay. Is it supposed to be, like, arts? Artsy? No, it's supposed to gross you out. Oh. I don't know why people do it, but they... Well, what they... I think they say, like, it's some medical thing. It's just one of those... You know when you go to certain websites, you, like, read an article, and at the bottom, it's only gross... (laughs) Yes. Yeah, it's, like, that sort of thing. But, um... All right, let me find a tree, I guess. (laughs) Emily said I sent her a video of a gross... Plant that was icky with those patterns. Oh yeah, because you don't like it either, right, Emily? Because yeah, oh my god, that plant was fucking gross. Really? Uh-uh. I probably should have the picture on my phone. I will send it to you right now, and then we'll see if you think that's gross. Yeah, I'm about to look at so many of these pictures and make you all mad. No. <laughs> Last night, I was talking to my friend Tasha about Animal Crossing, Mm -hmm. and she was telling me the names of all the villager characters that she has in her, like, island, and Mm -hmm. I kept Googling, like, each one, and every single one, it would be like, you know, in the Google results, it's like, oh, cute, 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 and then, like, inflation porn of that character, or, like, just, like, them like so fat that they're like toppling over like furniture and stuff or like huge thighs what? only like each each character had like at least like a piece of fetish art like within like three rows of pictures and it's like wow yeah i guess uh i don't know it's like animal crossing is such a sterile like gross right. like childish game yeah, you're, like, such a little freak if you have to turn that into, like, a sex thing. It's like, like why this of all things? <laughs> yeah, and how and is, is this... it actually attractive to you at this point? Yeah, and why is the sex thing, like, <laughs> they're a huge balloon and they're gonna pop? Right. They're a big, oh fat God. balloon person. Yeah, and I don't subscribe at all to, like, don't kink shame. It's like, why not? They're, I mean, it's like, <laughs> absolutely, we <laughs> <Sorry>. should. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, I think I'm almost to this plan somewhere. Yeah, and I said, hey, look at this. Yes! I'm also, Emily, that person that's like, hey, this smells bad. You have to smell it. I'm that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you have to share. Sharing experiences is, like, a human right. No, yeah, I was making Tasha look at every picture, and she was like, oh, great. Now when I play, I'm going to have to think about this. <laughs> Yeah, you can't just find Animal Crossing porn and keep it to yourself. No. 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 So where the hell is this damn tree, huh? Wait, let me look again. Damn, I wish I was here in this fucked up village. It's so nice and peaceful. Yeah. By the stream, maybe? I mean, there's a lot of, like, murder and suicide and stuff happening here, though, is the thing. You know? I mean Yeah, both of the pictures are gross But the one really makes me want to die Okay, let me just send this to you On Discord? Um, sure, yeah Let me figure it out There we go How do I find Let's see Bitch. Okay, it won't let me send it on this card. Oh, you can, uh, if you post in the chat, I can see it too. Okay, yeah, I'll do it that way. That's a good idea. How do I.
like around here seems like I should dig, but I don't know how to. Like I'm guessing I'll see like a mound of dirt or something that I'm supposed to shovel. Yeah, I don't know, because it just has the little X on the map, right? Is it that? Uh, the one next to me? Yeah. Is that what you're looking for, just to see what that even is? Yeah, because I think, like, we found the note and we found a shovel, so I'm like... Yeah. I guess we go wherever that is. Go away. I'm trying to think, okay, what would your color analysis probably be? For I have you? To, for you, I, I am thinking, I feel like you have a warm skin tone. I, There's more cool, is that right? What do you yes, think? Yes, well, I actually have to use, like, primer that covers up the redness, because I'm literally so red and Irish. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> And do you notice, like, would you say, hmm, hmm, that's so hard. Would you say you have more, like, yellow undertones or more blue undertones? Any idea? I'll Hello, Alex. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. I have a way we can see. I have a way we can see. One sec, let me think of it. Which one is the good one? <laughs> Which one's the good one? <laughs> okay, sorry, crime liker. What is it now? What? What is it now? What's the complaint? Oh, that I oh. said Alex. <laughs> so, I won't do that again. Because his job might find him. Damn. Oh. Dude, that's my nightmare. I talk so much shit on this. Yeah. It would, it would be bad. Okay, here we go. Check this out. Okay, great. Thanks, Alex. Okay. So, I can do this. Okay. Oh! Wait, what so is bright. that? Is Wait. that just... That's my, like, lamp. Oh, so it's just, like, changing the tone of the lamp. Yeah. Mm. And I can do this, too. Oh, wow. Okay, you're very blue now. What would you call this? <laughs> That's extremely cool toned. I don't know. I would argue it's a warm blue, though, wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah, maybe. I'm really bad at this stuff, but I do feel like you are warm toned. I feel like that seems right. So, you would be either a spring or an autumn, and I'm autumn, but I don't know. That would be my guess. Oh, that's cool because I really vibe with autumn. So yeah. that would make sense for my like proclivities. Yeah, for sure. I'm like one of those, do you know that meme of like all the Christian ladies standing side by side for taking like an autumn photo shoot and they're all wearing like really tall boots and like, like brown scarves and they all have like blonde hair. Okay, you know yeah, what I'm definitely. About? I know the vibe. I don't think I've, I haven't seen it. Hey, CK. Um, hey. Crime like your Dina, what I'm talking about? Wait, I'm gonna find it. Krish. Yeah, exactly. Fall white woman luck. It's. I mean, it's That's the best it, look, yeah. honestly. They said literally the tweet was like, "Oh yeah, Christian girl, autumn." Okay, I'm gonna send this to you. Or you can look it up, look it up, because I can't send the... Okay. It's and a first Emily, result. you're winter, right? <laughs> what the hell, crime-liker? 
I know, total what dick. Are you? Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Christian Girl Autumn. The purest thing on the internet. I promise it's not pure. There's no. zero. No. No. I just watched Shiny Happy People, the uh, Duggar family documentary. The, oh, like, wait. Yeah, however many kids and counting. Yeah. What's the deal with them? <laughs> they just have a lot of kids. Are they like weird? One religion? of the kids there was like child porn. They're weird, weirdly religious. Um, wait, what do you mean? But they're one of the kids, uh, as he got older, like had child porn. And I think he's probably in jail for that. He also oh, lost he his had sisters. Oh, porn, I see. Yeah. Yikes. So. Yeah, and it was bad. The ba- They gave like a little description in the documentary, and I was like, mm, I have to stop watching this for yeah, a minute. Yeah, it was the bad type of child porn. <laughs> it was the extra bad type. Like it said, like an infant. They just showed Dude. keywords. No, 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 no. Yeah, we gotta get it just said track. like. <laughs> I gotta find this tree. For sure. Um. Okay. Still loving this autumn look. These actually, I feel like most of these colors are not really autumn colors, unfortunately. But the boots definitely are. I am a Scorpio. Oh, yeah. Scorpio colors are maroon, as I'm wearing black. Oh. 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 But I, my new favorite clothing item, I will say, is a pair of green corduroys. They might even be, like, velvet or something. They're kind of, like, a weird oh. material. But they make me feel so disco dandy. Yeah, that sounds perfect for you. They're really funky. They kind of make me feel like a disco Elysium guy. Harry Harry Dubois. Amazing. Wait, CK, are you a Scorpio as well? Hey. Because Emily is also a Scorpio. Wait, really? Yeah. What the damn odds? Wait, say our birthday's on 3, 1, 2, 3, November 13th. Yeah, everybody, please. Okay. Emily, you think you're fall. Interesting. That might be true. I don't fucking know. I'm so bad at this. I Yeah, I can tell you for $600, though, for sure. I just got a text. From who? <laughs> Lies. Oh, Emily, did I watch the Subway AI? Jared documentary? It was boring. AI text from your AI uh, GF. November 16th? What? That's three days after me. Wow. That's what I was thinking. It was somewhere around there. Well, now you'll have that... to remember, Valerie. Yeah. I want to say my old best friend, Kristen. I want to say her birthday is November 16th. Wait, are you uh, But she to... won't talk to me anymore. Oh. <laughs> sounds like a Scorpio. I, I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Will you look at a uh, damn, the damn walkthrough and just tell me where the hell to put my shovel? Yeah, shell in? let's figure this out. Maybe I dig up a grave. Out. Wait, I'm going to start digging up graves uh, while you do that. I'm going to try. Oh, interesting. Okay. I know. I couldn't find... Oh, yeah, it was this one. Because I was just like, riot bits. That doesn't sound right. But no, it is. We, it was just some stupid random one. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. It's like, what do you mean it's not working? I'm dig. I'm touching dirt with a shovel. I should be able to... Like, hello, Dignition. that's all it takes. Oh, wait, here's Rosaline. Ooh. Come on, now. That's gotta coward, be it. Coward, coward. What? I gotta go to the picture. Wait, what does it say? Oh. It just says Rosaline LeBlanc. Okay, but the shovel says what? It says, like, it's, it's a metal shovel. It is strong enough to dig into the dirt. Okay. Do we have any keys? CK, I don't know hilarious. we have that shed key. Did we ever go? I think he's making a joke. The game that we've been playing is like literally the key game. But honestly, oh. this is also a key game. It's They do love keys. Let me scroll down, you fucking cunt. Oh, it's like, <laughs> you have to watch an ad first. Thanks. Yes. Please. Go. We have a candle okay. and an onion. 
Okay, we have a can of onion. I'm trying to find where those went. Maybe I feed the onion to a cow. Okay. When you exit the doctor's house, you will hear screams from the general store. Enter it and you will find the upstairs locked. Pick up an onion by the door and shed key from the hanging body and a map near the bed. Go behind the store and pick up the shovel from the shed. Use the shovel where the map says you should. Near the rocks in the area behind the general store. Oh, wait, okay. Which one is the general store? Behind, okay, I'm thinking it's this building. This game does kind of feel like it was made for VR or something with how like jerky the camera is. Yeah, is it really bad? I don't know, I assume that's what um, Prime like or anonymous uh, fan is talking about. Okay, do I get to the. Oh, wait, this is not the general store. This is like an abandoned bar or something. It's okay, CK. It's like not much has happened yet. Mostly it's been like something bad is happening. We found a hanged guy who hanged himself. Alright, there's general store. Yeah. But, which uh, was creepy, but not enough like context yeah. or it's kinda like one of those like not not uh not everything is well in this like idyllic village. Oh, over here? Oh yeah! Alum! A drawing. Ooh. Oh. Okay, my Barry dear Andre. Again, my last letter went unanswered. You left two years ago. Since then, things have changed. Oh, this is from Robertine. I committed a horrible act. Maybe she was a witch. I don't think I can last much longer. The whisperer calls for me. I need you like never before. Damn. Come back to Saint Monique de Mont and bring me back with you, I beg you, Andre. Oh, I'll wait for you under the birch. Okay, so now we gotta find a birch tree. Love okay. letters. I hate that her name is Robertine. Like, I hate when women's names are just a guy's name with like an A at the end or whatever. It's like, ew. <laughs> just be Robert. Oh, <laughs> right. At that point, just be Robert. You don't like Roberta? I think sometimes the names are pretty, but it's like, but then I feel fooled. Yeah. Do you like Georgette? Oh, absolutely not. Really? That's a bad one. I think that's a nice one. Really? Yeah. Oh no. There's so many, though. It's like Jordana. Ramona. I actually think Ramona is one of the yeah, top names, but I realized like, recently it's like, oh, it's just Ramon with an A at the end? That is dumb. Yeah, it's I like, hate Ramona. it! Thumbs down to Georgette. What the hell? Wait, Raymon, the video game guy. <laughs> Raymana. Wait, so what are we doing now? We gotta wise. find a birch tree. Great. Is that it? Oh, man. See, and Michaela is such a good name, too. I never connected that one. I'm so upset. I don't like Michaela. Big thumbs down to really? Michaela. Yes. <gasps> Michaela is like Christian girl fall. <laughs> yeah. Georgette is like, Georgette's gonna go see, like, an indie movie and be really smart mm. and, like, mm. ride a bicycle. Georgette basically just sounds like Joan Jet. There's not, you know? What? Um, Henrietta, I'm realizing. <laughs> CK, taking the cunt, is that a phrase? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be thrilled with the name, yeah, for sure. Wait, what are some, like, Scottish names? Is Siobhan Scottish or is that Irish? Or is there a difference? I'm sorry, I'm ignorant. 
Just like eating your little strawberries. I really apologize. Uh, yeah, wait, do, do you have the, um, walkthrough in front of you? Yeah, I opened, I opened it up. Taking the piss, well, you guys love to take the piss. It says, pick up love letters, that's what you got, right? Yeah. And return to speak to the woman? Oh, the, oh, okay, yeah, let's go see what's up with her ass. Hmm. The woman that was sitting on that chair? Uh, yeah. Or a different woman? Like, she was oh. the only woman we spoke to, I think. I'm fucking done with her. I know. Ridiculous. Oh, we gave her the love letters. I'm sure her daughter would have loved that. <laughs> Mm. I don't remember seeing a watermill. A what? A watermill? A watermill. Hmm. I'm like, was there like a little one, not like a full size one? But I think uh, that may have been in not this game, but in something else. <laughs> Just something you saw? I think so. Like, I think I was on a show or something. But I, saw I definitely remember that. Is that just a wagon oh, what the wheel? fuck is that about? Alright, here's. TK, you never told us Scottish names. Like, that's like a little suspect. And if you don't name one, we're going to be forced to name one. And we're going to say Fat Bastard because we don't know any others. Okay. <laughs> Was he the president? <laughs> also, we're going to have to have to believe if CK doesn't enlighten us. Taking the cunt, being like, taking the piss. Taking the piss is already weird. Taking the cunt. It's like, what the fuck? What are you even <laughs> saying at this point? Yeah, they're just trying to see what they can get away with. Right. I love the uh, making me look like a mug. I think I've talked about this, but that's like my fave, like UK thing. Oh, I don't know if I hear that very often. Oh my gosh. I watch too much Love Island, but I, uh, I'm not watching it anymore. I gave up Hulu. Well, I watch The Mighty Boosh, and sometimes I'm like, is this something they made up, or is it actually something British people say? Mm, it's impossible to tell. Literally any name, CK. Fucking any name that is from <laughs> Scotland. Like, a name that wouldn't be said here. It yeah, wouldn't be exactly. even uttered here. Where the motherfuck you is the fucking mill? Hamish. Okay. Yeah, that's um, if that's how you say it. But um, yeah, the comedian Sean Cole and his son is named Hamish. Um, he's from Canada, so they'll just do whatever they want. Okay. Agnes. Yeah. Oh, Agnes is nice. Agnes. That is a good one. Um. There was an old woman murdered on a show named Anna May, and I thought that was pretty cool. That sounds very southern. Yeah. 
I guess a lot of southern stuff comes from those William. places. Okay. Trying to remind us of William Wallace. You're like, look, we have lore. You've heard of it. Mel Gibson told you all about it in 1997? Oh, wait, maybe this is... Is it 1996? I don't know. What happened? I think I found it. Yeah! Okay, Alex Prime Liker, excuse me. You really you really didn't know Fat Bastard was Mike Myers. You didn't. I like the idea that really Fat Bastard didn't. is just like... That's just like what the actor looks like mm-hmm. and talks like, and he's just like that's his one big role. But he has like bit parts and other stuff, and he's exactly the same. Like, yeah. Wow, I would love to be up in here. I love like Aubrey like Plaza. That actually sounds pretty, though. What are you talking about? The names, um, like naming kids after islands. That's really oh. kind of pretty. I get why people are doing that. All right. So you're saying Plaza, as in like her last name is Plaza? No, Aubrey Plaza is a one-note performer, like Fat Bastard. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sign off on that. <laughs> okay, great. Someone retweeted a, a tweet from Drake that was an old tweet where he was like, oh, look at this. He was like, sometimes I just be eating granola and watching Aubrey Plaza interviews. Oh, God. See, some of these things are so perfect that you're like, there's no way he said this. This is definitely, like, you have a social media person who's, like, a brilliant, you know, it's fucking drill or whatever. But Drake <laughs> is not saying this. There's no fucking way. I don't know. Maybe Abu Fulza was, like, younger when he tweeted that. Like, at a an age where it would be kind of weird if they dated. That's true. That's true. What's up, Bear? Hello. We just found this. At the gates of hell, I will comfort myself knowing that you are with Daddy in heaven. Forgive me, Renee. Okay. Hmm. Who's Renee again? Uh, okay, we got a blood trail, it looks like, so. Did he say with Daddy? Yeah. Alright, lots of blood. Nothing I can really click on, though. What the fuck was I watching where someone's dad got murdered and they were <laughs> they were walking around looking for him going, Daddy, Daddy? And though they found him dead, they went, Daddy! <laughs> and it was like an adult woman. It's like, okay, we need to stop yelling, Daddy. That is just weird. Was um, it the movie they made based on the game called Don't Wake Daddy? <laughs> I think it might have been. Very dark. Ooh, I love this overgrown shed. <clears throat> I'm like assuming there was nothing back there I was supposed to pick up because it didn't seem like I could click on anything. Oh, a body. They got smashed. Yuck. Oh, Hunter. Hunter's house. Looks like you, you got hunted, sir fly sounds yeah so there's something really shiny on this table that i'd like to look at but i guess I can't. yeah what is it maybe it's just glass oh it's just the sun whatever don't even bother we don't need that sort of detail i wish that beam i wish that beam had crushed my fucking head (laughs) honestly i can't even pick up shit in this world Oh, look. <gasps> Hello, my friend. Oh, oh my okay. god. This rocks. Oh, what do I have for you? An onion? Oh, no, he probably wants, like, jewels or something. Yeah, for sure. He's like, this guy can't, like, just brush away a bird. Is that... 
Peggle Pee Pum Perum sort of thing. Say that again? <laughs> Peggle Pee Pum Perum? <laughs> yeah. Alex, um, said trade smooth stones with this guy, and I was wondering if that was, like, a Dark Souls thing, where you, like, put in, put things in a bird's nest, and then they say pickle pee pump rum. They really say that? I don't know why. Mm-hmm. Oh. Now I really have to play that. <laughs> Wait, have you not played any of you? you? haven't played, like, Bloodborne or Dark Souls or anything? No. I actually, the story of, like, the, oh, Moose! Yeah. Oh wow! I heard, I heard about a moose stomping a bunch of uh, sled dogs to death, and I was like, you know what? I'm over these bitches. They're they're great. Like they're powerful and big. Yeah. Oh yeah. The one time I think, that I wait. No, you go. The one time I tried to play a I can't remember which one it was. Maybe. Because what had happened was, I was interested in the aesthetic of the Souls games, and there was one that I tried to play, and I was like, this is too hard. Mm. Or no, I had heard that it was too hard, so I'd, I played oh. another one of the Souls games, not realizing it was like made by the same people, and I was like, oh, mm. this is like the same aesthetic, but easy to play. And then, when I actually tried to play it, it was like on one of the worst days of my life, where it was like, there was a tornado watch at my job, so I had to come home early, and this friend of mine, who I don't really talk to anymore, was, like, staying over and being really weird and being like, I'm basically gonna kill myself if you don't hang out with me, and I was, like, stressing out, because I was like, get the fuck out of my house, because she was, like, doing oh that a lot, God. and the guy I was dating was, like, kind of letting her stay, and they were like, let's hang out, and we, like, watched a movie, and then she, like, wouldn't leave still, and I was like, alright, I'm gonna play this game, maybe it'll distract me, and then it was like... <laughs> It was oh punishingly hard, and I was like, God damn it! <laughs> I just had to go into my room and, like, close the door. <laughs> oh my god. I know that sounds like I'm not compassionate, but it was weird, like, manipulative vibes. Yeah, no, 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 for sure. Uh, and that's true, yeah, Alex does say that to me all the time, and I love it. That is what I like in a friend. <laughs> I hear that, and I go, wait, do I do that to people? I think it's unspoken. It would like, be different. <laughs> it, it's di it was yeah. different coming from her, because it was, like, very... There was a lot going on. It was, yeah. like, it was just that she wanted to, like, make me be friends with her. Ugh. Yeah, so all of those moments are tied to now the... Again, yes. Oh. So then I was like, uh, it made it extra bad. Like, it, instead of being able to appreciate the fact that it makes you, like, have to try again and, like, learn how the game works, it felt like I had been tricked by the universe. And it was laughing For in sure. my face. But, uh, Francis is really, my partner Francis is really into. Mm -hmm. Uh, Elden Ring, and I've watched them play it, and I feel like I would like it if I used mods okay. and, like, made it really easy and cheated. Well, the thing with all of those games, for me, is, like, they're really hard for the first, like, 20 minutes, and then they're fine. Like, you just have to get past the beginning when you have no power, because that's the only time they're really, like, impossible where you want to fucking scream, and then they're fine after that. No way. I don't believe you. That's how I feel about him. <laughs> yeah, I. it's like every boss you have to spend like an entire day trying to beat them. Hmm. I don't know. It's fun though. Like, I, I don't know. It's only really bad at the beginning. It only makes me want to pull my hair out at the beginning and after that it's fine. Yeah, I think what you're saying is like know. you don't mind that it's like challenging. But it really does get much, much, much easier after the initial, like, 20 minutes. Because they're, I think, just trying to introduce you to this horrible thing at the beginning. Um, and then it's like, oh, okay. Then it's reasonable. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't know. I guess. I mean, the way I've really heard people talk about it is, like, you have to, like, learn to understand the timing of everything and you have to like really think about blah 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 like it's very like cerebral and like you mm. have to like 
play it, you have to play it differently than any other game, because... Like, not really. Like, you have to be a little more intentional with your hits and stuff, because you don't have just, like, endless energy. But I'm, like, I'm not... I'm not, like, thinking a lot. <laughs> That's not my personality when I play a game. The fire giant was bad, yes. Um, actually, I like rolling Elden around Ring, I think, was one of the worst. Okay, yeah, rolling around is good. I like yeah. that. Um, also, do you know... Can you look at the walkthrough again and see if there's anything else yeah. I'm supposed to do? <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just this leave. Game, this game is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess um, I just have to come it, back and do more stuff. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we were there. I feel okay, weird about that milk story. Yeah, that sounded bad that I said that. That you said what? That I was mad that my friend was... Uh, no. Okay. No, no, no. I totally know what you mean. Like, some people, even if it wasn't manipulative, it's like, you're allowed to be annoyed by that. But especially if it is, like, yeah, manipulative, it's like, yeah, you don't, you don't have to always care about that stuff. Sometimes someone actually kills himself, and I don't care that much, you know? It's just how it that is. Did, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Yeah, she's fine. Um, after using the yeah. key on oh, the that's mill... The, thing. the aesthetic looks so good. Oh, yeah, sorry. You you did use the, the mill key? Yeah, that's how we got to that whole new area. Um, in the mill, you will find some wood... In the first old house, you will find the hunter's key on a dead body. Yep. In the L-shaped house, you will find a knife on the bed. Yep. Okay. Return to the village, enter the hunter's house, and pick up the empty sprayer. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, don't tell okay. me anymore. Oh, okay. It'll be hard to stop reading this. <laughs> it's riveting. I just want, because I'm going to say this much, and actually I have, <clears throat> I realized it's ironic that I don't want to play those games because they're hard, but like every single game that I play on this stream is like impossible for me to uh, progress in. So, <laughs> different standard. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't like leaving anything integral behind before I went to the damn hunter's house. Yeah, for sure. about this is this it yeah i i don't know i feel like you'd probably like any of those games um yeah probably especially bloodborne but i would also hate for you to like spend money on it if it's not um something you already have because what if you don't like it i don't know how who the fuck am i to say what you're gonna like yeah. i don't know well francis <laughs> is eventually gonna get a ps5 and i know their their sucker ass is gonna buy all the bloodborne games for that thing and I can just play them. Okay, awesome. They're all gonna be on there, right? Mm. <gasps> Whoa. Yeah, I think so. I think they're all on there. Yeah. Graphic novel. Mmm, interesting. Wait, do you play um, games at all, Emily? Have you played those games? Or do you have any interest? Boil an onion in a saucepan. Put the mixture in a sprayer. Spray the bird with it? I don't want that. I want to give it a present. What? There's like a golden <laughs> candle holder right here. I wish I could just give it that and it would like be my brother. Yeah. I feel like that should work. Like in real life, that would be the solution. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was ridiculous. Who find out that you have to boil an onion to spray on a grill? Who was that guy? Mm-hmm. Now I gotta the figure out intuition. where a saucepan would be. Maybe the doctor's house? I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you, but I am gonna look, okay? Oh, wait. Yeah, actually, I do have firewood now, too, so maybe... Oh. Oh. Where's the stove? You're asking me? Yeah. Is the stove in the hunter's house? Oh, is it? Because you might have everything already. Oh, yeah, sure. you okay. do. 
It doesn't make any fucking sense, but I don't even know what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't want to break so we get mad. Are you sure it's that? see. Says? Um, I, well, it doesn't say to leave the hunter's house. It says enter the hunter's house and pick up the empty sprayer. Then, oh, wait, 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 no. The inn, the inn is where oh, they have a stove. okay. Sorry, missed that. But yeah, I don't like getting chased either. I've actually, I don't think I've ever had, like, a really upsetting moment of being chased in those games. So I'm, like, really, 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 really don't like being chased. Uh, Ooh, you know what? I, you should try to play. But this would mean that you'd have to figure out how to play... Ah, oh, shit. It's Half-Life Alex, which... I don't know if you... It's VR. Oh, yeah. It's just on Steam. Oh, okay. So I have to figure out how to do that. Yeah. But it's so cool for, like, horror reasons. Uh, that there's, sounds awesome. There was... I was gonna say there's, like, an alien that, uh... I guess they're from the other Half-Life games that are, like... Mm. Uh, I forget what Francis said they're called, but it like it's up high, and they have like little tails or something, and it can pull you up and then like be like on your like sucking on your head, head sucker. But in VR, that happened to me, and it felt so crazy. I almost felt the sensation like on my spine where I was like, oh, there's something like uh, like lifting me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's the sort of thing I might not like. <laughs> it sounds awful. But because I am cool. ultimately a baby. But as much cool. as Bear says I'm hardcore. I think that was sarcastic. Um, Alex, see, I was going to say Alex recommended it, but then I was like, I can't say Alex recommended Half-Life Alex. That sounds weird and like a lie. There's some gaslighting going on and I can't tell from whom. Yeah, head crab. I think that's right. <laughs> Wait, you didn't play it yet, right, Alex? Which building is it in? I don't know. Is it that one? Or is that, no, that's like the church. Or is that, I don't fucking know. This is, it might just be like an abandoned building. Oh, it's locked, whatever. Oh, I love dead children. Wait, from what? Where's their dead children? But yeah, no, I don't mind dead children. That's true. That is true. Um, you don't have a VR thing that can do it. Oh. Oh, it's only VR. Oh. Yeah. Controversial, I think. That's a bummer. Yeah. Alright, that's fun, that's <laughs> I know, we actually do have two, and we really only use one. Do you play them together? Is that why you have two? You've, like, played stuff together? Mm -hmm. Um... We initially got two because Sean was playing Resident Evil and I wanted to play Supernatural at the same time. And then we were like, oh, we can both play Supernatural at the same time. Um, and again, it's really just because I'm bad with money. That's really why we had two. But um, <laughs> John hasn't played at all in forever. And when he does, he uh, plays like 10 minutes and then he's done. So Yeah, I need to play more Supernatural for that subscription fee. I need to get I my know. money's worth. Totally. Bro, where the hell is the end? I know, they need to have, like, pictures of these things. Yeah, it's on French. Or just <clears throat> let you point and click to the fucking end. Maybe it's this. Yeah, is it that? What does that say on it? It says General Merchant. Oh, it's French. So I guess maybe this is also the oh. end. Yeah, it's like, what is it? 18 or $19 it's a like month? It's like 20 bucks, yeah. Yeah, yuck. But... I do it. They do play 
so many rockin' tunes like Justin Bieber mm-hmm. remix by Skrillex. Hell yeah. I know I like all the Skrillex songs like a dork. He's good at what he does. Mm-hmm. Alright, that guy's still there. Whatever. Yeah, the corn song. Oh my god. I did one with P.O.D. Nice. Um, Papa Roach. It's so funny. Why do I ever Free play video Bush games? Style. I'm so bad at this shit. It's just... I mean, good, games like this are a little harder because... It's, you're just like searching for a random thing it's like i don't know this is actually why i didn't like elden ring as much it's open world but let's say this game is essentially open world yeah, but in a very least, small world if it's an open world at least like they have rpg shit and you get to like customize mm-hmm. your little dude like that's what makes it worth it if i could True. customize my priest and like True. decide where his stats were if we could ride around on a little horsey to get from place to place, I mean, yeah, yeah. great. Is it back here? Where the heck? <laughs> Is this the end? It's dark as hell in here. As some sort of noodles. That I bought from Target. I heard that place went woke. Yeah, I know. Well, and then I'd also heard, oh, they're not selling the Pride stuff anymore. But when I go, they still have it. I don't know. Oh, wait. Is that true? They said they weren't. (laughs) I saw articles about it and people being like, Target's a fake ally or whatever, but it's like, I don't know, they still got it in mine. It's a fucking corporation, dude. Right. <laughs> and it's like terrible stuff. I hate when they sell stuff. It's like, oh, it's pride stuff. It's like, I don't know who would want to wear so this stuff, tacky. though. I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, Target. Absolutely. Uh, will you tell me where the internet is, please? Or what it looks like? inside I know um let's see if I can find another whispering valley in well it's just like it's like Expedia do you want to book a trip uh yeah <laughs> yeah no that's just an actual thing the whispering valley resort okay really? Wow. Yeah. Is it in Canada? Um, this one says Canali. I don't know what that what that means. I feel like there's like a few. Were they pissed? Wait. Yeah, I didn't hear about that. And also, aren't the, all the people that shop there, like, liberals? I guess not. No, that's not true. They're, like, Chris, like, youth pastor dads and stuff, too. Um, did you see it? No, I didn't. I could only find actual fucking hotels called that. So <laughs> oh. I don't know. I don't okay. know what the fuck it looks like. Wait, all right. I'm going to look on my... <laughs> Maybe if I say video games specifically, it'll know well, what I'm talking about. I think, like, what I'm going to try... Wait, we can see who finds it first. Okay. Um... Oh, 
not any of these would be in it. Wait, so I was in the inn. Where the hell is the stove? You said that's where the stove is? Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah. Alright. Is it in complete darkness? Fucking walk through. You fucking... Um, I think it might be. Yeah, people are so weird about the... Well, it's because, I guess, it's a talking point on, like, Fox News and stuff right now. Like, I mean, it just obviously it has been in general, That's but... That's all they fucking talk about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, Alex, is because I don't pay attention is why we still get lost. Because okay. I just stopped doing it. Supposedly it's in here. I see a stove, but it's like there's no way to approach it due to the fact that it's completely dark. All right. Well, you you're supposed to combine a bunch of yeah, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, Alex. Yeah. Shut up. Um, <laughs> you have to combine like wood and it was so Matches? stupid. It was like wood and the sprayer and newspaper. Ooh, I lit a match. <gasps> what? Wow. Combine with Okay, let me see where okay. Wood and paper. Alright, I got plenty of that. Yeah. Use the newspaper, wood, onion, and empty sprayer on the stove. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh wait, am I s okay, cool. Oh, I love the po the potion bubbling sounds. Yeah. Very cool. You know what? Don't condescend to me. <laughs> so neat. Love it. <laughs> brew. Wait, I, brew girl. <laughs> I'm just supposed to put the onion in there? Like, directly on um, the... Or do we need that? I don't fucking know. It says onion. It's, yeah, put it on... It says on onion? the stove, in the stove. Oh, oh maybe, like, on onion. top of it. I've never used one of these yeah. things before. Oh, that's it. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I would know not to put the onion inside of it, but in the game, who knows what they <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Do, you know? We don't know. <laughs> this is we the first... Know. Oh, you know what? We did the thing with the rope before. I should have known it was going to be some shit like this. We have to use a loom. Okay, I'm making a bong right here. <laughs> Let me go ahead and take a hit off of this onion water. Alright, I'm gonna leave this just kind of like cooking and it should be fine, right? Mm-hmm. Well, it says do that to make the full sprayer. Right. So you're gonna fill the sprayer with onion water? Yeah, I think I did. I, like, hit it with this. Oh, okay. So then it says walk all the way back to the L-shaped house across the river and use the full sprayer on the bird? Yeah. Yeah, that's why you made it. Is this what the bird wants? Oh, because no. you're supposed to... Are you cooking the bird? <laughs> no, we're just, like, make. It doesn't like the onion, so it flies away. And then we get to see oh. all the little eggies. Or whatever. Oh. Oh, my God. Like, why would the priest be like, I need what this crow is guarding? Right. You just saw, like, a bunch of body, like, blood and... Oh my god, yeah. Get your priorities straight. Yeah, the raven doesn't deserve it. I totally get you want to watch, Alex. I don't know, it's a hard decision. Can you be late to whatever it is? Oh, wait, you okay, know? let me really try hard to find this. Where is the mill? Where is the mill? The mill. Wait, I hear the water. Is it across here? I don't think there's anything over here. No? Shit, where's the fucking- How do I get lost, like, when it's just, like, one row of buildings? I don't fucking- Is there something wrong with know, me? Man.
church. The hot breeze in Fleabag is ugly but hot. He's just hot. I'm sorry. Just oh, yeah. hot. <laughs> I know that. He's the guy from Sherlock. Yeah. Is his personality hot? Um, yes. The, so the way that they create tension between them and yeah like it's it's all it's all very hot yeah. <laughs> he's a good listener he's also like funny and like he seems to really see her which is you know i stopped watching that show after she like jacked off to obama like giving a speech <laughs> oh i don't remember that i'm pretty sure that happens oh my god that was season one probably She wild. She wild, she crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's find that building with the bird. I'm so ready for something to happen. Yeah. Maybe after we steal from this bird. <laughs> yeah. Very attractive. Middle names are your kink. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, you really should finish season two wow. of the Creed. They didn't even animate it flying away. Lazy. They're just like, it's gone now. <laughs> <Bear>. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait, what is this? Liberty? La Liberté? Yeah. So it says you go back to the house where you talk to the woman. Oh, and like get in, like unlock her front door and barge in. I don't, I don't fucking know, cool. man. That would be cool. Oh, finish it. It's been so long since Fleabag was a thing. I feel so like. Oops. Like if I started talking to people about Fleabag and was like, "Hey, have you heard about this?" I just don't think. <laughs> I think I missed it. Hey, I'm getting ready to watch Tiger King, you know, man. Really? You can do whatever you want. No, I'm not. <laughs> but I could. I yeah, could. I feel like that would be upsetting for you, right? Because it's like animal stuff. Yeah, you know what? I actually don't even know. Oh, I keep doing the wrong thing. Damn it. I don't even know what Tiger King really did. Oh, he's an animal abuser? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I Wait. thought he was just like Brett Michaels, essentially. Brett Michaels' uncle or something. Who's that? football player um, he's a um, the singer of poison he had a reality show called uh, rock of love oh yeah, yeah, yeah. he looked a lot like the tiger gang like yeah. a lot it's glam it's like hillbilly glam mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's what i thought Yeah, Fleabag, I mean, that's the one you can watch anytime. You know, it's like The Sopranos or something. I feel like you can watch it years after, and everybody's still going to be excited to talk to you about it. You saying that is just making me think I should watch The Sopranos again. Yeah. Have you have you watched The Wire as well, obviously? No, just... that's the one that... No. Uh, Francis is a big Wire fan and always saying I need to watch it, which I know I need to. I haven't been watching a lot of TV, honestly. Look at this. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Like Midsommar. So good. Yeah. I'm so hungry. I'm thinking about what I'm going to eat for dinner. Yeah. Can I suggest noodles and strawberry eats? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Do you cook? Uh, not as much as I should. I made a bagel sandwich today. Well, that's not cooking at all. I know. <laughs> no, it's still impressive though. Yeah. Well, I cooked sure. an egg. Yeah. There was an egg on it. Sun. Oh. A little bit of cooking involved. Yeah. All right, maybe it's yeah. A little pat on the back for that. <laughs> I'm trying to get more <laughs> protein because I always feel like I'm dying. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it was 
bagels, eggs, cream cheese, uh, sriracha, wait, sriracha, okay, and that's it, I guess. Was it good? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it was good because I like all those things. Okay. But I, I just feel like sandwiches so often can be disappointing. You kind of go, oh, this will be a good mix, and you that go, there's something true. missing. That's you very know? true. It's always good. Like, even if I put the same ingredients that, like, a deli did, theirs would still be better. Yeah. For sure. All right. Where I don't know what it is. Liberté. Little of their... Yeah, the wire is bleak. That's true. They're, yeah, ultimately, there it is, uh, I guess. Can you see what else I need to do with this key? Um, you went to her house? Oh, what it, did she do? Oh, I didn't. I forgot. Okay. Let me go to this fucking lady's house. <gasps> she gone! <gasps> she's hanging too we're like okay <laughs> we've been there done that okay maybe she she did a Kurt Cobain yeah maybe so they gotta change it up somehow yeah Yeah, and food is always better when it's made for you. Paralyzed. Yeah. Oh, uh oh. Sleepy? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Renee would never have known pain. I'm trying to figure out who Renee is. Their, their daughter? Little girl, maybe? Well, I thought that was Robert Teen. She said, Dear Robert Teen? Robertine's a little girl. Her daughter, who all this stuff happened around. Oh, fuck. I don't know who Renee is then. Could be a guy. We don't you know what I mean? Because Renee? Renee. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Like it could be Celine Dion's husband. Isn't his name Renee? Is that true? Well, he did die recently, so yeah. Uh yeah. they got three of you in here. He's like fifty years older than her or something. Oh my god. Yeah. Do you know the life of Celine Dion? A bit. A little bit. Okay, so I guess arsenic should have arsenic. Oh, she did kill herself. Yeah, okay. and her she died looking like this. Lady, come on. See, this is why they have like the coins and stuff. For her, I would just. I would just glue a bunch of coins to her entire face because there's yeah. none of that is okay to see. Put some in her mouth. Yeah, definitely fill her mouth up with coins. Pennies. I mean, I'm not, Yeah. you know, not a rich man. So I guess, can I just <laughs> use, like, match six to see? I don't fucking know. Cool. Okay, that's nice. Oh. I was gonna say they maybe could have told you about that, but maybe they did. Uh, I don't. I don't think they did. Oh, a crow. That's fine. Right. Okay. So. a crowbar and a candle. Fuck, Mary kill these three items. <laughs> Morale is very low because yeah. it's like a scene like that you would think that there would be like an obvious next step. 
Yeah. They never want us to know what to do. Let's see. Um, did you find the crowbar? Yes. And the lantern? Lantern? It says there's a lantern next to the bed. Oh, okay. I have to remember to keep looking at this fucking walkthrough. Yeah. So easy to miss a single thing. That's like. Candle. Oh, so I can just take this. Damn, alright. Oh, God. I'll leave you in the darkness. Where to? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so it says then you go outside. After you get the lantern, you go outside and you use the crowbar on the boarded up door. Oh, the large house yeah. across from the one you exited. I guess I probably could have thought of that. can I talk about? Um. What else is there to even give a shit about? I don't know. You know, I didn't get to ask you last time. I kept, I kept getting distracted. How was your boba? Oh, it was good. I actually drank it within two nights. Like, I spread it out. Oh, wow. Okay. And it probably tasted like shit the second night. I don't care about that stuff. Okay. I'll eat, I'll eat anything left over. Yeah. I mean, I will too. I just, it is upsetting how much worse it usually tastes the next day. You yeah, know? I guess so. But to me, I'm, I did... I'm thinking I'm getting a double bang for my little buck. Yeah. That is true. Didn't the boba, though, because this happened to me last time I had it, but maybe you didn't have straight up boba in it. But when I had put a boba drink in the fridge, the boba becomes so, like, hard. Yeah, it does. Of. I don't care yeah. about that, though. Wow. Okay, don't care about taste and texture and pleasure and <laughs> stuff being good. No, okay. the taste was still pleasurable. And the thing is, okay. boba is such a, like, how do I say this? Like nebulous. Like why? Why is boba good? Because it's soft, maybe. But I think it's just because it's like something it's extra weird. to chew on. Yeah, like, that's true cares? to a degree. It doesn't yeah. have a flavor, so. Yeah, you might be right. You might be right. Uh, yeah. But the egg pudding. I'm gonna say this. It's good. It's just like custard or something. But why is that in a drink? Why, why is, is there boba in a dream? In a dream? I don't why is know. anything they put in okay, a Okay, maybe, fine. Maybe it's good. You know what I've started doing at Starbucks? They have white chocolate macadamia cold foam. Yeah. And you can just add it to the top of whatever drink. Yeah, I'm a foamer, it's too. So good. Uh, I'll, I'll say this about the custard, too, or the egg pudding that's in the boba. Yeah. What's fun is that when you try, you can suck it up with a straw and it'll come flying through and it'll be so big and just like hit the, <laughs> the back of your throat. Oh no. And just, uh, you know, it's like an exciting kind of game you're playing. Wow, it's that like does sound exciting. On right in. <laughs> There's hey, nothing, get slimy. nothing to do in here. Let me. Yeah. I can't go to the wet zone. Drinks are good. I love drinks. Um, okay, so you use the crowbar in the house. Inside, use the knife on the rope. Oh. The, the rope's not. Sweet. Okay. Underneath the bed, you'll find a note. Did you find that yet? No. 
Hell, right? Under the bed? Oh, God. Okay. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Robertine, the main character. When you read this letter, I'll be gone. It was my intention to leave without a goodbye. Oh, this is the guy that loved her, but it was also a little uh, bit of a man about town. Oh. I'm leaving for Montreal. You and I was fun, but that was just it. What you wanted was too much for me. Wow. The note that started it all. <laughs> yeah, a play yeah. There's a girl that I follow on Instagram who talks a lot about dating, and she was dating this guy for a little while. And then as soon as she slept with him, he totally changed. Like, didn't call her anymore. It was like, it was fucking wild. And then he ended up telling her when she finally was like, hey, what the fuck, man? He was like, yeah, you know, I think you're, like, too old for me. And you're just, like, ready for more than I'm ready for. She's literally a year younger than him. Wait, what? Ew. Isn't that very funny? Uh, ew. <laughs> oh, my God. Firing squad. Absolutely. Okay, go back over the Mills Bridge and past the old houses. And use the climbing rope on the log to climb down into the fucking cave! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was going to be caves. <laughs> Wait, so just where... I don't know. Across the Mills Bridge and past the old houses. Okay, yeah. I don't think this Yeah, is. Al Pacino, because he just had a baby with a young woman. And so did Robert De Niro. It's like, you guys both need to be done. What are we doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. Robert De Niro. How old is he? Like, 70? Yeah. I think they're both, like, 70s. It's like, yeah. Okay, I have once had a dude tell me he would have dated me if he was a man with no morals. What? what? What did he mean by that? I mean, not to tell us all your secrets, Emily, but my goodness. What did you do to this poor man? Not, <laughs> <laughs> it could just be more about him, because maybe he was like, if I dated you, I would have to do so many bad, bad things to you. Maybe. Maybe he's like, oh, I'm married. Did I not? Okay, yeah. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Whoa, is that new? Okay, there's like some new blood on the ground. Unless I okay, it, it just looks like spray paint to me. Like, I would, would yeah. even register. Well. <laughs> so you gotta suspend that. Oh, look, it's new. Look, a trail. Oh my god, yeah, okay. We do need to be more, like, imagine this is blood. Oh my yeah. god. Yikes. We're really yeah. a priest. Right. Well, <gasps> he, he left! Whoa. The I didn't man. know he could do that. Yeah, it's like, where do you gotta go? Where do you gotta be? Right. And why is there so much blood? You hanged yourself. Right. Okay. So wait, we have to go to a log. A yeah. log that lets you <laughs> climb into a cave. I don't know where a log is that would help you climb into a cave. But... Alright, let's think about this. The mill, the mill. The place that I find easily every time. <laughs> well, if you just cross the bridge, it's probably like cross the bridge and walk like all the way so, but it's probably the way you were is maybe right. I don't know. Cause the it's not near the mill though. Mm, well, it said go over the mill's bridge, so it's probably just like that bridge. How many bridges are there in this game? A couple. Are there more than one? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, I think it might be the one that's like closer to the. Are there? Is there? I don't know how to say things anymore. How, what was this? How did you say it? And I'll tell you. I said, are there more than one? Is that right? So, are there more than That is right, right? One. There are more bridges, yeah. So you would say are, I think. Great. 
I don't, I honestly, like... I can't tell you if you're a summer, but I can tell you if you should say R. Dog! <laughs> and also, I might not be right. See, is there more than one also sounds great. Yeah, I don't know. I actually kind of decided that was right, but based on nothing. <laughs> Whoa, it got all foggy. Oh, wait, no, it's been like that the whole time. Yeah, that's probably correct. I, like, seriously, since I hit my head that time, like, two years ago, I don't know stuff anymore. There's the moments like that that I'm just like, I don't know. I mean, I, I never hit know. my head, and I don't know that either. <laughs> well, that makes me feel better. I do feel like I relate to a lot of people now that I couldn't before, because my mom has always had a lot of things like that, and I was always like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Really? And now I'm like, oh, I get it. Yeah. Dude, at work, I'm, like, so bad. I'm a really bad... Like, I'm s good at working, but also the things that I forget are very stupid. <laughs> uh, and sometimes it's like, yeah, I kind of don't care. Oh, wait, down here? See, that's great. I don't know. No, no. I think so. Taint a bridge looks like New York in that there's multiple bridges. I just learned that on Jeopardy recently. <laughs> you watching Jeopardy out there? I, um, they put, well, first they put Celebrity Jeopardy on Hulu, and that was fucking amazing. Oh, really? Oh, the fog, I get it, yeah. And then they put the Masters Tournament, and I watched, like, a few episodes, and it's like, um, this is too hard. <laughs> Can you dumb them down for me, please? Oh, was it so hard that it wasn't even, like, interesting? Yeah, there were times when I, it was fine. Like, if you really know the subject, but most of the time it's, like, a bunch of shit that I don't care about, and it's like, no, I can't. I can't even begin to know these answers. So I'm just, like, on my phone, like, yeah, okay. Pope, whatever. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's kind of you funny. know, it's pointless. Trivia is boring unless you like know the trivia and then you get to like show sure. it off. Like For hearing someone sure. else know it is not really. No, not exciting at all. And what I learned too is like you're watching these shows and you're thinking you're learning, but right. if you rewatch the same episode, you will know the same answers and not know yeah. any of the other ones. So it's, no, there's no reason. And also knowing, like, a little tidbit is also kind of not, like, that helpful. So true. Like, who cares? That's oh my such God, a good my point. my dog is being so cute. Wait. Aw. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Uh, my green screen's on, so you can't see her. Never mind. Oh. Oh. She's, like, playing... She'll jump in my covers and, like... Like, flail the blankets around. Oh, there's a mill. Oh, my God. Oh! Okay, so oh, how's the mill. how cute. So is she trying to bury herself? Is it that sort of thing? Kinda. Yeah, it's like she kind of rolls around. It's like she's having a little fun by herself, and if I look at her, she That's stops. That's adorable. <laughs> I love when animals get caught doing a cute thing and yeah. they're like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, oh my god, this is really... Okay. Still not sure. Log, log. Walk past yeah. the old houses and find the log. All Did right. we walk past the old houses? Do we know what that so even what... means? No, I don't. Um, yeah. So the only way I can walk from the mill, I guess, is this way. So we'll start okay. here. Okay, there's the first bridge. Okay. Okay, so I guess we probably do want to cross the bridge and then just... And then, are there houses? Just keep walking? I guess. Yeah, because it says walk past the old houses, so it's probably, probably these. So then it is this bridge? I don't, oh, I don't fucking know, man. I don't fucking I know. I picked the worst games. And the walkthrough just isn't making it clear either. It's like very vague, so. 
Alright, I'm gonna look for my own eyes. Yeah. Yeah, I just wish they would just show a picture of the log or something at least instead of just saying saying it, you know? I need photos. Yeah, if I was doing a walkthrough. Okay. Okay, so I this doesn't like really help me, but I guess I was looking for like a river. Mm. But it doesn't necessarily have to be by a river. Yeah. So wait, let's start over. We got the mill over here. Over the mill's bridge. This is so stupid. Oh wait! Mm. The Mills Bridge! Yeah! <laughs> like, oh, is there in like... the mill. Oh! Like we have to go through- they said it in such a weird way. Yeah, how- t okay. Yeah, what did they say? Yeah, go over the Mills Bridge. Oh, okay. I was, yeah, I totally read that as, like, bridge by the mill. Like, not, okay. Yeah, that's not how I would say it. So we go through here. That's why they said the old houses. Is this BS? Oh my god, there is too much wandering around in this fucking game. Yeah. I'm hoping soon we, like, unlock the- Oh wait, I gotta look for a log. We walk past the houses and look for a log. I hope soon that we unlock the portal to, like, hell and have to fight the devil or something to, like, make this- Oh, yeah. it's like this part? Is this it? Hmm. Oh. Maybe not. That's not really a log, I guess. Oh wait, there was another place. Oh, it's like lagging. No, that's where I came from. You get to pick the next game we play. Okay. And I have to wear some kind of shameful garment for what I've done. Yeah, I think so. I, I and I think the next game should be Resident Evil 4. <laughs> oh okay. Wait, VR? Yes. Oh yeah, Bloodborne, sure, I'm also open to that. Really? If you are Okay. Bloodborne you or You'll like Resident it. Evil. It's really fun. Yeah, may I like playing with oh wait why did I go in here I'm getting distracted playing with people watching would make it easier okay to yeah, just like tolerate sure. I think for sure I think so am I going back and there are some really scary moments in that you know like scary scary I mean yeah there's some parts that you're like I don't want to go up there yeah. <laughs> I don't want to have to fight this thing. If I went backwards, I'm going to do something really bad. I did. Fuck. Okay. I need uh, to concentrate. All right. We're going to speed run this. Do you have to go? Yeah. Do you have to do a, an appointment? No, I got a, a while. Okay. Let's at least find the log. Yeah, for sure. This <laughs> fucking log. God, where would a log be that leads to a cave? It helps you go into a cave. Shouldn't there then be a big hole in the ground yeah. or something? Like, what are you I'm saying? I'm not really sure what's a picture here. All right, past the houses, past the houses. We did find a weird, like, stump thing before. Mm. This, yeah, this. 
It looks dirty. That's the only thing that it said. Oh, look, this is the hole. Oh. All right. Okay, All right. Great. All right. Okay. All right. Wow. Skip. What do I hope is in the cave? Hmm. White. White spiders, white salamanders, all see-through animals. Ugh. Oh, look, guts. Awesome. Robertine was devoured. Uh-oh. When you read this note, I will be gone. My aunt suddenly fell ill. Oh, so I guess the, the note that we found was, like, crumpled up because he decided not to give it to her, and instead he gave her this one that's like, I have to leave because of my aunt. Oh. Life separates us. It's God's will. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so. A key. Oh, the children's room. Okay, we know where that house is. Okay, yeah. Um, okay, so he doesn't really... So I guess that's it. That's right. it. How are they going to have you drop into a cave and that's it? I know. Just one boring ass dead body. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who devoured Robertine. So many deaths and like... I mean, she was like in half, it looked like. Ugh. That would be my first observation. Yeah, for sure. She wasn't even really eaten up because we could see what she looked like. Yeah, wasteful. Yeah. All right. Running, 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 running. Uh, maybe we're about to beat it. That would be cool. That would be insane. What if there was like six hours left? <laughs> <laughs> I. It's like I could. It could be like the pace of the game yeah. is like it could be like almost done or it could be like your the game is about to start absolutely and what's hard though too is like if the game is like six hours long like for us that means 30 <laughs> <Yeah>. hours <I laughs> mean. right. oh i don't even want to think I, about it what i have to scroll to the bottom and spoil everything oh my god okay let me scroll wait wait is that it Oh, yeah, it is almost over. <gasps> wait, really? Okay, wait. I'm running. Yeah. Okay, I'm happy. All right. That's go. awesome. Wow. Whispering. I heard whispers. Oh. Mm. All right. I like these. These little islands they like to show us. Bear, what would you do if you were in a town such as this? Good question. It's a very good this question. Mystery. If this happened to you. Alright, what's in the freaky bedroom? Oh my god, oh my god. Valerie. What? There's a baby walking around. Oh, oh no, okay, hold on. In a loft room. A baby looks too little to be what walking. What the shit? Did someone shoot the baby? Uh, not sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Both of you got great, great comments here. Okay. Yeah, we. Okay, this was her baby. There are rumors going around. Our parishioners will know about him sooner or later. Okay, Renee is her baby. I do not doubt your devotion to the church. Thanks to your work, the presbytery is always in immaculate condition. Oh, we about to go there. Renee's place is an orphanage. The nuns will take care of him. You'll be able to resume your life. Bring me Renee, and I'll take care of the rest. 
Alright, so she had an illegitimate child. Is there anything else cool in here? No, 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 no. What am I thinking? Baby's got a gun. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do you found a key? Yes, and now I go to the church. I know that much. Things are okay. changing. Oh, bisexual lighting. <laughs> Am I wrong? Okay, the church. <laughs> Is the church the big red building? No. Okay. But I'm inside. Is, this, is there that much of a delay for you? This or thing can you... says to go in the big red building. Um, I'm just, I, it, there's a little bit of a delay, but also I'm not watching closely enough to know what's happening. The you key know, is you know. for the presbytery, which I thought would be in the church. Wait, it's not? Yeah, it's it says um, uh, to go in the red building. All right. Off we go then. Why did she- so it's an implication she like killed her baby, just give it to the orphanage. She just yeah. like killed her baby and herself instead of just like... Ooh. I don't know. Shallots! Mmm. I love those things. Yeah, hopefully you get to do some more cooking. Yeah. Right. Okay, so it says in the bedroom to the right. You okay. will find some stuff. Oh. What's that? Reaction. Uh, it talks about, like, a Bible page, but it's oh, like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, is that the one we already had? Oh, wait. A disturbing rumor reached my ear. It would not only seem that one of your parishioners is a murderer, but that you could also protect her. Have you lost your mind? The murder described to me as appalling. The devil cut in your hands. You're a man devoted to crime. Do not fall into disgrace, okay. Bible page? In the bedroom? Yeah. Yeah, it says in the bedroom to the right you will find a locked closet and a Bible. Use the Bible page to get a clue as to how to unlock the closet. Wait. Like in the bedroom? I don't see it. Yeah, I don't know. Is this the closet or the bedroom to the right? Does it even have a closet? Is there another bedroom? I don't know. <sighs> oh, maybe down here. Okay, okay. Mm. Mm. Cool. Alright, I already know. You're blinded if that woman wants. You want to hang as a murderer, so are we. Excommunicate. Oh, so he is like the priest was trying to be like, no, don't kill her. Mm. Alright. Look up at the sky and count the stars. Oh, okay. Don't mind if I do. Do... Oh. 
I think it's in the house the where you're counting stars is what it sounds like. Yeah, fuck me, I guess, for thinking that uh <laughs> I would see a damn star in the sky, okay. No, can't. The whole how it says you solve it is confusing to me, but I'll give you some time to see if you uh -oh. understand it. Somewhere in the in the house? Yeah. In a Yeah. Yeah. Painting? Yeah. I'm not yeah, seeing any stars in that one. There's one upstairs, too. Oh, wait, okay. okay. One, two, three, four on the left. Two in the middle, and okay. one on the right. So, wait. Wait, so how many stars is that? <laughs> oh, it's like right next to the, Okay, four, two, one. Okay. No. Uh -oh. No. There should be another painting that also has stars. There's... Oh my god. Yeah. If I don't solve it in like two seconds, you can just tell me. Yeah, totally. That's... One. One. Too. Okay, you can just tell me. Okay, so the answer is 804. Okay. I'm not even gonna ask why. <laughs> yeah. I think, well, I think it was hard to find all the stars, because in that one, I think you counted seven, but there was uh, actually eight. And then in that last one, I think you counted two or three, and there was actually four. And then in the second. other one, it had zero. Francis How would you know to count zero? Hello? Okay. Uh, yeah. It's okay. What's wrong? Do you need it inside? Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm, mysterious. Alright. Right. Wow, more mystery happening. Okay, problems to solve. Okay. Uh, so it said it. Oh. It said you needed to count how many stars each of the paintings and the buildings have, ordered from how far you have to walk from the closet to look at them. No way. It's so weird. What? Yeah. Like okay. by steps, like counting your steps. No, you just. I guess it's like. The first one you see is eight, and then the one that's next furthest away has zero, and then... Oh. Uh, but it's just... Whatever. I don't know how you would know that. I'm going to the church. Um, heck yeah. I'm going to see the crypt. And depending on what we see, I might end it here. It is... This is, like, literally it. Really? Oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no. Here we go. Yeah. I hear sounds. Wee. Oh, they're French whispers too. A guy. Par 
croisé en vue d'après la vérité. Wait. C'est après que cette créature. Ok, that was a weird pause. Oh, a creature. You're the crank here, dude. You're talking crazy. Right. 100%. Okay, what are you gonna do? Okay, you gotta go to a well. Oh. Yeah. I don't know where that is. I think I remember by one of the houses. Yeah, there's a well. And then that's it! You just go to the fucking well and use the fucking item and the game's fucking over. No! Yeah. That's it! Wow. Okay, you get to decide. I get to wear some kind of shameful, like, sign that says I, I do need. Yeah, that's perfect. That's <laughs> absolutely <Okay>. perfect. <laughs> <sighs> All right, let's see. Let's just at least do this. Let's, yeah, let's do it. Let's see what happens. What? What's going to happen? Yeah, a clown nose is. Oh I yeah, think, that's perfect. true. I wouldn't look cool in that though, so I'm not gonna wear. It. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. You were hoping for something. You'd look cool in a shirt that's or a sign that said "You do need." <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know if I that's can find your a well. style. Yeah. Right. Where is the well? Kind of asking a lot of us. So wait, they're right implying now. that like I escape by like climbing into a well. It says you use the crank on the well, and an item comes out, and then the game's over. Oh, all right. Uh, do you know I'll, what the I'll item try is? To Google this. No. Oh, okay, interesting. All right, well. Oh, I hear the whispers. Where's the? Oh wait, I think. Well. Is it over? Funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Maybe it's a baby. Yeah. Come on. Wait, is this not it? Hmm, maybe get in a... Oh, no, because you're already... I can't hold this closer. Hmm. I will, um... Wait, here? Look. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, you got it, okay. Oh, baby. No. Oh, well, really? We can't do something a little more than that? Toss the baby in the hole. Face down. So I can't really do anything. It's just kind of like... Look at this. Yeah, look. There it is. You did it. <laughs> Feel good? <laughs> uh, I don't see why the ending wouldn't have been when you found the little girl's remains. Why? Why was that the ending? I know. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. House on fire, house on fire. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, the creature, the creature ran away. Be uh, no. on fire? Or maybe that was the priest. There was okay, a so ghastly it. sound. I'm gonna try and yeah, go the, in there. I'm gonna try and go in there and see what's uh, going on. For sure. For sure. Yeah, the creature was just a real guy. Okay. 
I this thought it was like their guilt haunting them. <laughs> no, there's a monster. It was like a Sasquatch. <laughs> oh god. Interesting. See, because I just heard, you know, in Martyrs, she's got a little gremlin chasing her too, but it's it's just her guilt. Oh, so. for our what? Poor Quad. Um, what's she guilty about? Yeah. Because she, like, escaped from this, like, torture place, and on her way out, she saw somebody else being tortured, and she didn't help them. Oh... Uh... If I, if I did, I would. You would help them? Yeah, well, I think she was still really scared, and also the person was chained up. It's like, I don't see how you could have really oh, helped Oh, yeah, them, right, yeah. It's yeah. like, it's easy to say. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, torture places are, ugh, they're the worst. They're torture. No, they're not that bad. I don't want to be dramatic. So, yeah, this is funny. Goodbye! <laughs> See ya. Where did this horse-drawn carriage come from? That's been there the whole time. <laughs> I know. Man, All right. I left ages ago. You're not a private detective. You're just a priest. That's weird. Why are you trying to solve the mystery the whole time? And as soon as it's solved, you leave. Like, where are you going? <laughs> I know. Later. <laughs> well. At any rate, thanks for helping me solve it. Yeah, good job. That was great. Yeah, I'm excited to the next uh, for the next game. That hopefully, you know, it will be better when it's not like doesn't have a puzzle element. You just kind of do it. Yeah, I think that'll be great. Yeah, I think it's time for me to just like fight some monsters. Yeah. The other game that we're playing, Haynes Creek, is like almost the same amount of uh, no satisfaction. So. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm going a little crazy. It looks nice, though. I do kind of I like Uh, it. yeah, it's, like, nice in a kind of, like, opium-type way. It's very, like... There's nothing really there, but it just feels like... I don't know. It's, like, yeah. cozy in a, in a way that, like, shitty games are cozy. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, Resident Evil 4 will be good if we decide to go Bloodborne instead. That's good too. All any of them, but you can you can decide. We'll think about it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll think on about it. it. Yeah. Okay. But if you hey, if you fuck up, you're gonna have to wear. Yeah. You know. Oh so. yeah. I know the drill. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> the stakes are high. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Bear, for hanging out, and Emily, yeah, and thanks. CK, and yeah. everyone else. Yes. Yeah. Next time we'll play something real. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. We know, man. It'd be cool if the like monster was just like a gnome. Yes. <laughs> and his little hat. Whispering. Yeah. All right. Later. Okay, bye.